Hello students, we're going to do some probability. Um, there's a couple of problems that are most commonly missed in this section and they all have lots of words and I know that like to be in a math class and have an entire paragraph is like oh my gosh like word problems and you have these like anxiety like I have when I write a paper. So we're going to just go through this slowly and I'm actually going to read it aloud which is totally ridiculous but I'm going to do it. So here we go. All right, I'm a little dyslexic, so I like to have a ruler on some things when I read them. Um, and if you're reading it on a computer screen, sometimes having a piece of paper up like over the screen to help you read one line at a time and moving it down helps a lot. OK, just for those of you who maybe have a little dyslexia like me. OK, so for a story, she is writing. OK, I was trying to figure out who she was. For a story, she is writing for her school newspaper, Grace Surveys Moviegoers, selected at random, which is a good way to do it, as they leave the new feature mystery on Juniper Island, which I wonder if that's relevant or not at all. She simply asks each moviegoer to rate the show using a thumbs up or thumbs down and records their age. Okay, which some people might be lying about, but that's probably irrelevant too. The results of her survey are given in the table below. What is the probability? Okay, so right away I'm like, what is the probability? <laughs> that's got to be important. What is the probability? Okay, so it's a probability thing, which means we've got to have it in a fraction or a decimal number between 0 and 1, inclusively. Okay, so that one of Grace's survey respondents has either given a thumbs up or is over 18 years old. Okay, so we've got thumbs up. Let's see. Has given a thumbs up or is over 18 years old. So those are the two things. And a fraction around your answer to four decimal places is necessary. Okay, so, all right, so we've got the thing. We need thumbs up or 18 years old, and here's the little table of results they gave us. So here's our thumbs up right here, all these people, or over 18 years old, these people. Okay, so several things going on here, and I kind of want you to see the connection to Venn diagrams with this, since there's an or there, and I made these two little circles. Um, in Venn diagram land, we would have done this. And or, do you remember what, what does or mean? Um, I have a student here, and they've just told me that or means either green or red or both. Okay. But the special thing about this both is you don't double count it. So let's first add things up. All the green stuff, I guess I'll write in green. I'm going to add them. All right, whenever I get a table like this, I try to like add up all the different stuff and make sure everything works. So first I'm going to add up all the thumbs up people, which was 26 plus 37, which gave me a 63. And then I'm going to see how many thumbs down people there were, which is the 17 and the 12, which means the movie was probably fairly good. But then again, you picked that before you went to the movie, you wouldn't have gone and watched a movie you wouldn't like. But anyway, 17 plus 12 is 29. Okay, 29. Okay, which means by doing that, we end up getting our total. All right, so we've got 63 some thumbs up people and 29 thumbs down people, which I probably shouldn't have made in red because that was actually thumbs down. So I'm going to make that black now because red should be that total. Um, anyway, so 63 and 29 gives us 92 total people. And since I did that in red and I'm getting a little bit off track in some of these parts, you probably won't need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the thumbs down people because that is what should be in, in red. Um, or no, the over 18 people. Um, so over 18 was 37 plus 12, which is 49. And the 18 years and under also doesn't necessarily need a color. So I'm going to just do it in blue because I have a blue sitting here. Um, 26 and 17 is 43. And the reason I'm doing all of these little totals over here is because, especially if you're taking like a paper test or any kind of test, you want to make sure you didn't screw anything up. And the number of thumbs up and thumbs down people should be all the people, which is 92, which should be the same as 18 and under and over 18. When you add those up, it should still give you that same total, total, total here of 92, the total number of people, which I'm trying to write total. Total number of people. Total people. 
Okay, there, so total people. All right, now I've gotten a little bit off track and I need to get back to what the question was. The question was, what is the probability that someone in the survey either gave the thumbs up or was over 18 years old? So what that means is we need or. We need anybody who gave a thumbs up, this green thing, or was over 18 years old, okay? So we have to add the, all those up. You can either do the 63 plus the 49 minus the 37, because so you wouldn't count it twice if you're thinking back at Venn diagrams, or what I would probably actually just do is I would just add them all up. I'd do 26 of the 18 year olds, or 18 and under that gave the thumbs up, plus the 37 who were over 18, um, and gave the, a thumbs up, plus the 12, all together, all over the total number of people, which was 92. So we would get, so we get our 75 out of 92 people are either um, thumbs up people or over 18 people or both. And we did not double count that. So we're going to stick that in our calculator and make sure we have can round and all that stuff. So 75, 75 divided by 92, um, 0.8152, blah, 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 blah. So whoops. Um, and we need to read really carefully. It says to either do um, the fraction or round it to four decimal places. So I'm going to go ahead and take this 0 0.81521. That's really nice since it has just a one afterwards. There's no rounding up. We just do the 0 0.8152. So boop, 0.8152. So in some software programs, it's really picky about whether you reduce fractions or not. Um, if it's a paper test, um, both of these would be fine, depending on if your professor is picky about rounding or uh, writing fractions in lowest form. But hopefully this helped you see that the little tables are related to Venn diagrams and the whole like getting this number with the or. Um, so hopefully this helped. If not, ask me to make more videos and ask more questions on the discussion board. Thanks. Okay, one more little silly thing I want to point out there, especially if this is like a paper test and you're like trying to fret over all the different things. So we've got the 75 over 92, which came from all this highlighted stuff. And I did the double check to make sure that this added up to 92 and this added up to 92. Another way you could have gotten the 75 was you could have said, if you want all the thumbs up people or all of the over 18 people, the only people you don't want is the thumbs down people under 18. So you could have done the 92 minus the 17, which would have given you the people out here. Um, so the 92 minus the 17 would have been those people out here that were neither in the, the green or the red. 92, oh, bed, dying pen, mm, pause. Okay, so I got my pen and I found another way to get the 75. Um, with the 92, the whole set of people, 92 total people in the survey, minus um, the 17 people that were here that were neither thumbs up nor over 18. So I'm just trying to make a couple of connections so that you know the whole class is um, connected with the Venn diagrams and all sorts of stuff. So I'll put all the other stuff in there too. It's 26 people that were only thumbs up and 12 people that were only over 18 and 37 people that were both. So um, hopefully this both tells you how to attack this kind of word problem, make some connections to Venn diagrams, and um, helps you see how to do stuff um, to plug in the answers. And in this case, this fraction doesn't reduce, but just to be safe, if it gives you um, an option of either entering it as a fraction or as a decimal, I, I feel like sticking that into the calculator, dividing and rounding it um, might be the safest way to go. Um, good luck. Post on the discussion board. Talk to you soon.